I'm just outside of Pittsburgh. We're at, here at Superbolt. I'm standing with Adrian. Adrian, what do you do here? What's this company all about? Yeah, yeah my, my particular role, like I say, is the global sales director. Um, you know, we have sales teams across the world, uh, you know, within our group. Uh, we really do specialize in, in technical sales of tensioning. A lot of our business is direct with end users, although we do have a global network of distributors uh, that sell and promote the product. We have inventory and stocks in different locations, again, to get to the customer's needs of lead times and competitive pricing, etc. One of the things that we obviously do as well is, is, is the high engineering. So again, when sales and engineering work together, we really do spend a lot of time doing custom engineered solutions. Adrian, when you're talking about sales working with engineering, that doesn't sound like the normal way things go. What does that look like? Yeah, it's quite unique here in the tensioning world that we live in. Sales and engineering work um, hand in hand, hand in glove. Um, most of our sales, but we don't have a huge sales force because it is rather a technical sale. So the engineering is quite critical to our success. We have, we have what we call sort of sales application engineers out in the field, and they will bring the inquiries into our engineering team. Um, the engineering team will then look at all of the unique materials that we use, all of the special jack bolts, all of the multiple uh, special coatings that we offer. Um, we do in-house coatings, in-house heat treatments, any kind of unobtainium type material where you cannot get it, uh, you, know, we, you know, we will look into that. Outside sources, sub-suppliers, we will do all of that all, all within our facility here and get it out to the customer. We've done some really unique bolted solutions over the years working with uh, all sorts of uh, you know government aerospace and into steel and and forge etc uh, we we've started a smaller sort of you know metric three four five millimeter threads all the way up to like 28 29 30 inch threads so you really do go from the sublime to the ridiculous um, that's on the mechanical side on the hydraulic side again very very similar um, again down at m3 m4 all the way up to to, to large hydraulic nuts Adrian, every company says that they've got great products, but what makes your products stand out? Yeah, um, again, working with the sales and engineering, so of course, all the special engineering that we can do for the custom applications. I've, uh, you know, there's not many applications that we cannot get a solution for. But not only that, we, we've really instilled into our team at the customer service level. Um, again, I know a lot of companies say that, but we really do put the customer first. We try our utmost to do a lot of communication to the customer, where their orders are, what's happening with the product, etc. And again, yeah, we, uh, when people call on the phone, we, are, we do have real life people on the phone in all offices in many, many languages uh, you know, across the world. So you are speaking to a real human. Again, we've got sort of real time inventory. So we do look strategically where to put the right inventory, what inventory levels to keep for our customers. Um, um, again, working with our distribution network globally. So, you know, again, they will work with us in inventory to keep. We've got the time zones, time differences. So there is multifaceted things of, of how we do put the customer first and, and, and get there with our customer service level. I'm Adam Luddy. I'm the engineering manager slash lead for uh, multi jack bolt tensioners here in uh, Pittsburgh for the Super Bowl product. We also support the bolt type product with, with the uh, production facility right next door to our desks. And uh, we also help out globally. We have other engineering teams, but uh, our team here it will help out other locations as well. And we solve the impossible bolting applications. So Adrian mentioned that you work really closely with the sales team. What does that look from the engineering perspective? So it's unlike any other organization I've been involved with or I've seen, uh, we work hand in hand with the sales team. They like to bring us the impossible, we design the impossible, and then our awesome production team will make the impossible. So any run of the mill bolting application we can do, but we also do the high temps, the spinning couplings, anything that's a little extra with exotic materials or code requirements. A lot of our MJTs for Superbolt are on-place solutions, so we have to follow the customer's requirements very closely. And whether it be for high temp or sub C, we have to make sure our product's gonna be able to withstand the most difficult climates. From what I understand, Superbolt's been here for over 40 years. 
So what is it like to work with an engineer for a team like that with that kind of heritage? Yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Um, I've grown up in Pittsburgh and to be part of a company that kind of was created here. It was created for the steel mills. It was created to solve a problem. And that problem was a bolt was getting loose and no matter what they did, they couldn't get it to stay tight. So the first MJT just solved that. It was a simple application with an easy solution. Now it looks like an easy solution, but back then it was ingenious. And I remember on my interview way back 14 years ago, I remember looking at the product and just going, well, why didn't I think of that? And it, it's, it's just that, it's easy. Um, we want it to look easy and be easy to use for the customers so they continue to want to use our products. Uh, and Bolt Tight's the same way. We've, Bolt Tight's new to us here since about 2015, but the hydraulic side of things, it's the same exact thought process. We're trying to make bolting difficult joints easy. The Superbolt MJTs are such a unique solution, and that really started the company from what I'm understanding. So how has that innovative spirit continued within the company? So the, the devices that we use, what we call for our jack bolts have changed over the years. The material combinations, the lubricants, um, the way we install them has all changed. And what that's allowed us to do is break into different industries and different applications that may have seemed impossible for anybody else to break into, but we've been able to adapt and learn and do all kinds of testing over the years and produce a product that now we're confident that we can go into those difficult situations where other bolted joint companies cannot. So one question I have then is, would it be quicker to say the industries you haven't been in now, <laughs> or would it be quicker to list the ones that you have been in? Um, honestly, if it's a bolted joint, we're on it. I mean, it, it, we can be on, with our product offerings, the nice thing about the Nordlock group as a whole is we don't sell a product, we sell a solution. We sell bolting solutions, whether it be the Superbolt MJT, the Bolt Tight Hydraulics, which are primarily what we produce here in Pittsburgh, but we have other product offerings as well. We have Nordlock washers, which are really great for smaller, high vibration applications, and we have expander pivot pins, which we couldn't do with Superbolt or Bolt Tight before we you know, we're able to link up with Expander. So with those four key products, we're able to solve any bolting solution. So we don't go into a conversation selling a product. We sell a solution that we're gonna hold your stuff together or something you were using prior couldn't. Well, it's starting to make a lot of sense now why you work so closely with the sales team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the sales, it's a great relationship we have because, you know, our sales guys, they wanna get in there, get the applications, and then they're very quick to, get us over the information or get us on the phone call with the customer because we've seen it. One of us has seen it at all. And if it's new, then you're going to get all of our attention because we're going to want to try to figure it out because it's something unique. And it's such a cool company because one minute it's a 30 inch diameter, not going on a press. The next minute it's a little one inch that's going on something that's going in the space that I couldn't tell you about because they don't, they don't tell me about. <laughs> So I think it would be quicker to list the company, the industries you haven't been in then, which is zero. Zero. You've been in yeah. every industry. We, we've been in, we, we've done it all. Um, we have uh, countless years of experience, not just with myself, but with the engineering team here in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. With We have uh, product leads throughout the world who have seen it all. We ha I couldn't even begin to estimate how much experience this company has in bolted joints in solving customers' problems. Adam, one last question for you then is, what do you think has made the Nordlock Group so successful as a company and so good to work with? I think not only selling solutions instead of products, but the way we work together as one cohesive unit through the process. You know, our sales guys do a great job bringing it in. We have the conversations with the sales guys, and then together we, we talk with production, and production, you know, sometimes we'll think, hey, maybe we are designing something a little too far outside the box, and they've yet to tell me no. So they're, they're, they're fantastic. I think our production support and our factory is just another thing that sets us above the rest.